my beautiful friends hope you're doing amazing today we're going to be doing uh, makeup i can't stop thinking about because it's new at sephora and i want you guys to know if it's worth picking up during the sale <laughs> if that's something you'd be interested in hi if you're new here my name is audrey thank you so much for being here please consider subscribing down below before you leave we talk about makeup over here i'm just a mom who loves makeup and that's what we do and if you're returning hi hello welcome i love and appreciate you and let's get started if you're interested in anything that I talk about today or anything that's on my face, everything is always linked down in the description box. Some of those links are affiliated links, and that just means if you choose to shop through them, I do receive a small commission at no extra cost to you, and that just helps to support my channel. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get back into it. Okay, so we are going to do our makeup and talk about new products that are at Sephora, newish, the newest ones that I have, that I want to let you know if I think is worth it during the sale. Kind of like a, um, I don't have time to do a speed reviews. I don't have everything ready for that yet, but <laughs> like my thoughts on these products because the sale is happening right now. So, um, this is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Oil in Pink Magic. This is the watermelon one. And um, I've been testing it out and using it, and I think it's still new at Sephora. Um, it does smell and kind of tastes like a uh, watermelon, but as far as lip oils go, whoops, it does not. Oh, I, I just broke the cap. <laughs> it does not last very long. Um, I would not repurchase this and I would not recommend picking this up during the sale. I would go with uh, the new Guerlain lip oil or I've been kind of testing out the Dior lip oil. Love those. I would go with those over this. Okay. Okay. You heard it here. <laughs> All right. Let's do um, this. This is the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter. I got mine in the shade zero. I think I used this in a trying new makeup and oh, it's so good. I'm wondering if it's going to work with the foundation that I'm going to use today with you guys um, or if it's going to be too much. But this, oh my goodness, this is incredible. This is incredible. If you like the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, but it's just, I don't know. A little bit if you have that one and you love it and you need to pick up something new maybe or if you just love Dior if you love makeup in general I really really think that this is worth every penny that I spent on it it feels incredible I haven't I still haven't used it right next to the um, Dior uh, the Charlotte Tilbury yet but every time i use this i just love how it makes my foundation look i love how it makes my skin look i love the scent i don't even remember if charlotte tilbury has a scent i haven't used that one in a really long time this is better i don't know if it's better than the auric i really need to um put it head to head with some but seriously if you have been looking for a good hydrating base um yeah it is absolutely gorgeous and looks super great under makeup under foundation you know <laughs> the whole makeup shebang yes seriously holy cow this is worth picking up during the sale 20 percent off 100 percent. yes this where did i put the oh lip oil <laughs> i have to set everything up so i remember um to put it in my description box okay next let's do foundation yeah okay so this is the makeup forever hd skin hydra glow foundation i got mine in the shade 1n10 now this shade i don't think is available at sephora but if you're a skin tin with skin how skin tin a skin twin with me i wouldn't recommend picking the shade up anyways um because as you can see it is far too yellow <laughs> way too yellow i 
I'm also not a huge fan of this foundation. I don't know why people love it so much. This is like my last kind of effort to make it work, especially with this color that I picked. I'm so disappointed in the color. It's way, way, way too yellow. It's supposed to be a neutral undertone. And I had the um, 1N06, I think, the shade right underneath this one that's neutral. Um, I had that in the other foundation, the like the more matte version, and it was too yellow. So I decluttered it recently in my foundation declutter. And then I, when this one came out, I picked it up in the um, N10 shade because I thought maybe this one would be more neutral and not so yellow. There's hair on my face. And I was wrong. <laughs> and this makes me look like I have jaundice. <laughs> um, I know what jaundice looks like. My father died of um, liver liver failure from alcohol so he was very yellow when he passed away <laughs> that's a bad joke sorry <laughs> um but seriously it's so yellow do not pick this color up if we're skin twins if you're more yellow than me and like around the same kind of depth maybe this will work for you um oh, wow I am so yellow. <laughs> wow. Um, the finish doesn't look great either. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's emphasizing emphasis. Why can't I talk today? It's emphasizing texture. This is not it. I'd say skip this. I I don't know why people love it so much. Nope. 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 Nope, nope. The colors are weird. <laughs> Skip it. Next, let's do some concealer. This is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Concealer. I picked mine up in the shade 0N1, which <laughs> this is new to Sephora too. So is the Makeup Forever. I just couldn't stop thinking about this and really wanted to get this video done so you guys could see. Um, if I think these products are worth it, this is what I do in my spare time. I have a hair and it's eating me. Think about kind of makeup videos I can make for you guys because I can't stop thinking about makeup. This has a little bit more of a pinky undertone. So actually, it might look really good with that foundation that made us look yellow. Where is... Us, made us look yellow, make me look yellow. <laughs> um, I love this concealer. I love it a lot. It looks amazing. It really lasts a long time. That's where it stands out. Um, it's not the most hydrating formula. But it is very smoothing and very long lasting. I still prefer my Tower 28 and my House Labs, but if you wanted a newer concealer, Laura Mercier did a banging job. I think that their foundation is way better than that makeup uh, forever foundation. So yeah, and that concealer looks really good really very very smoothing and nice it's not the best for covering up my acne you can still definitely see of that redness but it's not bad it's very smoothing under the eyes i would say it's worth trying if you need like a smoothing situation my under eyes look flawless okay next so this, I haven't actually tried yet. I was going to put it in a trying new makeup. I still might. Um, but this is the new Pat McGrath Labs Baby Pink Powder. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, this is going to be incredible. I really, really hope it's like a new holy grail, holy cow. 
Um, I got my Refer 36, which I think is technically like a eyeshadow brush, but it works really good for powder. Dang, it's so finely milled and baked. Oh my goodness. Oh, because I know that I love this powder in the, um, the white version. I was very, very excited when they came out with a pink. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I need to use it when I um, don't have a foundation on that is so yellow. <laughs> um, absolutely beautiful. Holy cow, look at this teeny little mirror. It's so cute. Um, yep, super, super perfected absolutely beautiful little brightening can't really see any of the pink so that's good i used a pink powder um from florist that's a little too dark and it's like <laughs> i look like i had pink rubbed under my eyes so i would say 100 percent. if you want a pink brightening powder this yes definitely my first one that i purchased came shattered so that was unfortunate, but Sephora very quickly sent me a new one, which I think would have been a little bit more of a pain in the butt if I would have gone through Pat McGrath. So you can wait for a Pat McGrath sale or purchase from Sephora and get better shipping. And I, I would go for Sephora just personally. I would I haven't had the best luck with, um, Pat McGrath shipping and custom service and, you know, all that jazz. Gorgeous. Such a nice powder. Wow, I am yellow. Okay. Next. What's next? Um, bronzer. I do not have a new bronzer, so we're just going to use a tried and true Gucci today. Absolutely love, 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 love this Gucci bronzer. I don't know. None of the bronzers um, that are at Sephora right now have really wowed me. Um, none of the new ones that have come out anyways. I thought about picking up the Glossier, the, um, their like cream bronzer, but I'm just not super into Glossier and I've never tried the blushes. So I was like, meh. Um, actually I have three new bronzers. They're just not at Sephora. I've discovered Nordstrom recently. <laughs> And I really like a lot of the stuff that's at Nordstrom. Oh, this is, I mean, kind of helping the yellowness. Because this bronzer is a really beautiful, almost like neutral. It's a very neutral, almost leaning a little pinkish. So, and I did not set my face and it looks really nice. is it looking weird or getting weird in the mirror. So. Gucci, 100% worth it. I know it's not new, but it's like still a fan favorite for a reason. <laughs> and it's expensive. So, okay, I have a new blush. This is um, the House Labs blush in Fire Moon. I picked up the both of the new shades that House Labs came out with. And I know that I love um, the rosette one. This one is kind of a weird color. Not like a color that I go for a lot. So I just wanted to make sure that I could still recommend this color to you guys. Mm, this formula is so good. Fire Moon is almost, it almost looks orange. It's like a, a, a beigey orange. <laughs> it's nice. It's really, really nice. Actually, it might look kind of weird with the um, eyeshadow we were going to do, but it'll be okay. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I, I, this is the color. This is not my favorite color blush that I have, but if you like a warm blush, then this is a good color. I prefer the other one. French Rosé, I think is what it's called. Um, but these blushes are very, very skin perfecting. They're not illuminating. They're more of a matte formula, but they're so beautiful. Holy cow, I could not stop thinking about these. These are good. Really, really good. Super good for at Sephora. Yes. Okay, 
next, the um, highlighter I cannot stop thinking about, which is probably what spurred, um, inspired this video. I got to tell you guys about this. While it's still, I think, available on Sephora, hopefully it doesn't sell out <laughs> before I get this video up. This is the Fenty Beauty Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter in 01 Pretty Pearls. Um, I think these are limited edition. The packaging is gorgeous. Holy cow. Um, I'm probably going to still put this in a new, uh, trying new makeup because I want to use it in a new makeup video. But this, holy cow. Holy cow. If you look at if you want to um, be seen from space, this is it. I did a short where I compared it to um, my house labs, which is a, a, a favorite available at Sephora, house labs is. This shines much brighter than the house labs. So if you want more of a natural, I'd recommend the house labs. But if you want more of a, oh my gosh, you can see me from space, I'm metallic, um, this one. And I was concerned that the the swatches online made it seem like this was going to be way too dark. But if you are my skin tone, it's not too dark. And it looks so good. I love it. I love it a lot. Highly, highly recommend picking up during the sale. It might sell out. And then... If it's limited edition, like I think it is, it's going to be gone forever. So pick it up. I'm just going to do my brows with my tried and true Charlotte Tilbury brow pencil. This, oh, this is a uh, Holy Grail from Sephora. It is incredible. You can buy the little refill tips for a lot cheaper than buying a full pencil, which I really appreciate. And the color works perfectly for my brows. So if you're like a little bit more, um, like if you like to go for neutral browns um, and you have kind of reddish hair like me, the color, I think this is natural brown. Yes, the color Natural Brown in um, Charlotte Tilbury. Chef's Kiss. I love, 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 love this brow pencil. It's more of a triangular tip, so it's a little bit faster. I don't really like, like, I don't need, my brows are um, pretty full and shaped on their own. So I don't need, like, a really tiny, uh, teeny tiny pencil tip. That would just, that would take forever <laughs> for me to do my brows. I just kind of fill in the tails a little bit. The fronts look really good to me, at least. So I like to do them. It's fast and easy. And then um, I uh, use a brow gel and I'm done. So if you like fast and easy, this triangle tip is incredible. It's not new, but I highly always recommend the Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow pencil. And um, also not new, but still my holy grail, Merit Brown 1980. If you like colored um, eyebrow gels, which I do, I am i don't really like clear brow gels. I don't know. I don't need it. I don't need it. My brows are not un unruly <laughs> or anything. Um, and I think that the brown just adds just a little something. I like it a lot. So those are the two I recommend, but those are not new. And I haven't, can't stop thinking about them. <laughs> okay. All right. Next. Um, <clears throat> I don't have an eyeshadow primer either. Um, from Sephora that I can't stop thinking about, a new one or anything like that. The Trish McAvoy is not from Sephora, but um, I know you're not supposed to use concealer on your eyes anymore, but I think that people still do it. So <laughs> I don't have oily eyelids and I've never had a problem with like 
uh, the concealer creasing on me when I use it as an eyeshadow base. But if you do have oily lids, I can see, I can see how it would crease. You know that that just makes sense. Um, so an eyeshadow primer would be fantastic for someone with oily lids, but. I don't have that problem. So we're ready for eyeshadow. Um, new at Sephora. This is the one that I can't stop thinking about that I'm like, ah, do I recommend you picking up during the sale? This is the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes, the Neutrals eyeshadow palette. Uh, I think if you like neutral eyeshadow, then... You should consider picking up during the sale. I think that I'm just going to do something really simple. And I mean, use my like favorite color from the palette because this one right here, this like uh, pinky brown neutral right here. Yeah, that's my favorite, favorite shade in the palette. Obviously, I've dug into it a few times. <laughs> this is a refer 27. And um, I usually go in with my refer 01, but grab this one first just a really fluffy brush blend it all over i just don't like an all matte look it's so boring to me i really like sparkle i'm a sparkly girl but um yeah let's go don't worry it's my palette i can blow on it <laughs> um let's do a little bit deeper with like this one over here yeah, yeah yeah um i've even used the grays in here and the formula is very very nice if you don't have anything like this then you would enjoy it if you have um an all matte palette that you absolutely love then I would stick with that. And I still personally like Patrick Ta's formula just a teensy bit more. Um, so I would probably still go with Patrick Ta's all matte palette. But this is new at Sephora. And I can't stop thinking about it because I, I really want to. I'm going to go with this one. I really want to be able to recommend it to you guys. And I think, I think that it is worth the money on, uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> and I would definitely repurchase this one over, I'm going to go into mm, these little bit of a smaller brush. I'm going to go into the, this one right here. Um, I would pick this up over. The original one that he came out with. I I prefer these neutral tones over the warm tones that he has in the first one. So there's that. Going back in with that brush I used, not the super big fluffy one, but the smaller one. Um, I whoop. this is. <laughs> A Refer 03 was the tiny one, and the one I'm using right now is a Refer 14. Refer has the best eyeshadow brushes of all time. Um, so I would not repurchase that warm one. I'm glad that I have it. I think that it is an asset to my collection. However, I wouldn't repurchase it. I would repurchase this one over that one. I do really like how small it is. These are very small shades and, um, you know, it's not, it is more compact than the Patrick Ta. So there's that. I'm going to go in with a Refer 21. This is the best packing brush for, uh, shimmers and mattes. We're going to use it all over the lid with this lightest color in the palette and use that, um, on the lid. So... Yes, I would say I would recommend you pick this palette up. It's not bad. The formula is good. 
It's definitely a very good companion palette. It's just, yeah, I like it. I like it. The more I use it right now, the more I do like it. And, you know, I'm using it and not the Patrick Ta, so it says something. That is really pretty. It's almost like an eggshell white. It's not like a white white. It's like an eggshell. Eggshell? I don't know. Gray? Grayish white? I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that color that I use. My favorite one in the palette. It's like a pinky brown. Love it. I'm going to just blend that white color out that we did. And then we should be done. Make sure there's no harsh lines. What do you think? Good enough <laughs> for a matte eyeshadow look. Okay, let's see. Mascara. Um, I'm going to curl my lashes. I don't have a new, new mascara from uh, Sephora. I I've been really trying to cut back on the amount of mascaras, makeup in general, that I'm picking up because I just did those declutters, you know, and I really am thinking twice, like, am I going to review it? Am I not going to review it? Uh, am I going to end up loving it or not loving it? So the newest one and the most expensive and the one that I can't decide if I think is worth recommending that I can't stop thinking about is the I Want You Mascara um, from Western Atelier in Le Brun Clean. So I got the brown one. And I kind of want to pick up the black one. But I have the brown one. I don't, it doesn't, I don't think it says limited edition anymore. Uh, initially it did. I think it was. Maybe they changed their minds. Oh, I hit my eyebrow. <laughs> um, but I can't, I don't know. So, and initially I was like, brown is not my favorite, but I think this is a really nice mascara. I just don't know if I like the brown color, but dang. Okay. Using it now with the matte eyeshadow. Woohoo. I do really, I like it. I like the brown with the matte eyeshadow. Maybe with like the sparkly glitter metallic eyeshadow, the brown is not enough. It just doesn't feel like it's enough for me. But with like a super simple matte look, this looks amazing. I like the brown. Okay. You should pick this up. You should pick it up in brown. This is worth it. Wow. Look at that. See? I couldn't stop thinking about it for a reason. That looks so nice. I really like it. I wish my foundation wasn't uh, as yellow, but I really like the eyes. Can you see? Can you see the brown with the matte? I like it. Ooh, it looks really nice. It's not the most elevating. It's definitely not holding the curl super well. So there's that if you have that issue. But the brown looks really good. I like it. I've changed my mind. This is good in brown. Um, the Hourglass. Hourglass came out with lip liners. And I picked up two of them. And I don't think I've talked about them on my channel yet. Um, and they are newer to the market i don't know if they're still new at sephora oops but um we're going to use the hourglass shade shape and sculpt lip liner in tempt three um it's a neutral how fun like a a pinky brown <laughs> um let's yes finish this. Oh, I'm still trying to talk. I don't know how I feel about these lip liners.
I can tell you one thing I know for sure. They're not as good as the Lisa Eldridge the new ones I just picked up. It feels a little creamier than Lisa Eldridge. Mm, I don't know. The color's really nice. And I've heard they last a long time. But are they worth it? Mm. Oops. Maybe if there's a color that you really love. Okay. We are going to use this. I cannot stop thinking about this lipstick. <laughs> this is West Montelier Lip Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade PK. So I, wow, really love this lipstick. And with a lip liner under leaf, underneath, like how I like to wear my lipsticks, you can't really feel the grittiness. It's wild. Okay. So I didn't realize that these had a weird texture until I did my short where I did Lisa Eldridge on one half and then West Atelier on, the, on the other half. And the West Atelier without a lip liner underneath it felt like like gritty almost um and i've heard that that is the clay inside of it they use like a clay um i don't know anything about the science of that but with a lip liner like i wear it by itself i never noticed that it had a weird texture so i still recommend these 100 percent. if a weird texture bugs you i would use it with a lip liner um I use a lip liner with all of my lipsticks anyways. And if you color in your lips first, you don't, I don't feel any weirdness. It's a super pigmented, slippy, um, kind of velvety matte. It lasts all day long. It's, it's awesome. I love them. They're very expensive too. So I'd recommend them during the sale, but like they do have a weird texture that I did not notice until I wore it without a lip liner underneath, if that makes sense. Okay, I think my makeup looks really good, except the foundation is so yellow. <laughs> and like I mentioned, I don't that color isn't even available at Sephora, I don't think. At least it didn't used to be. Um, so that is all the makeup that I cannot stop thinking about that I really wanted to tell you guys how I felt about it because it's new at Sephora during the sale. So yeah. Okay. Um, let me know down in the comments. Have you, have you purchased stuff during the sale yet? Have you made any purchases? Are you a big spender? Are you not purchasing anything? Um, yeah, I want to know. I want to know what's up with you. All right. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up. If you love videos like this, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Hello, my beautiful friends. Hope you're doing amazing. Today we're going to be doing, um, okay, um, next, let me get my eyebrow stuff. I love you. And we're at the end. <laughs>